teachers, case managers, nurses, janitorial staff, and other staff. Federal wage is basically 40% higher than the Missouri minimum wage. I don't have this contract, but if, if this contract is awarded to my company, I'm gonna have a job fair for people of this community who will be given preference for these jobs. For those of you who are business owners over here, it's a great opportunity. The reason is these people are employed by Home Depot, by Cheesecake Factory, by P.F. Chang, by a lot of businesses, Walmart employs them. The reason is federal, there is a federal grant you get a tax break if you employ these people. Plus, they have to prove themselves. Because if they want to come back to the community, they have to prove themselves. They have to be free of drugs and alcohol. They have to behave. They have to follow all the protocols. So it is a very strong community that can work hard. They have to pay taxpayers' dollars so that they can pay taxes too before they can find their housing and employment and everything. With, with employment, they have to pay those taxes. So it, it, it's an opportunity for businesses. <laughs> Emphasis is on family reunification and community involvement. It is a great opportunity for the churches, for community members and groups to take part in efforts to strengthen the community and enhance public safety by supporting and encouraging returning members to the society. Now, why Excel Prison Health? The reason is we want to provide the best integrated care to the ex-offenders <coughs> and prison population to achieve successful reintegration into the community. My main goal is to help the hospital as well, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, we have psychiatric expertise. We practice evidence-based medicine to help the people. The reason why I, I had a choice to either open a company which is not for profit. I chose not to. There is a reason why. I wanted to pay taxes to the city and I want to pay rent to the building that I'm renting from St. Alexia. So that money is again used back in this community. That was my reason of having an organization for profit. So let's be a part of the solution in an effort to help families, their lives, and communities. I again want to thank you very much for coming here today and listening to this presentation. And before I close my presentation, there are two things that I want to tell you because a lot of people have been asking me that question. Are you going to have any sex offenders? No, we are not going to have any sex offenders. The other question was, people are afraid that all of a sudden 161 people will come over here. This morning, I got an email back from the federal government. They said, that's not the way we work. We provide few people at a time, and they have audits. One is an open audit. They tell you that we are coming. And then they have, I think, three unannounced audits. So they come and check your work and check everything. And if everything goes well, then they give you other renters. Yes, sir. Can you, can, can you speak to your business plan, including your plans for work with, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, folks here to be living? 
what do you want to know about the business plan? Well, we, I appreciate what you had here, but it's, it's